looks like a lonely little cucumber plant, but actually uh, there are three cucumber plants in this planter. Um, this is a black magic uh, hydroponic grow pill, and it has a small pump in the bottom that uh, pumps water from the bottom with the nutrients up to the top, uh, sprays out to four different planting sites on the top of it. The uh, cucumber plants, there's three, and all three were uh, taken as cuttings from a mother plant. And the uh, nutrient, it was just changed out, fresh water, fresh nutrients, up uh, to the bottom of the baskets, and the uh, pump decided to stop working. So I decided that, uh, why not? Let's, let's try uh, growing all three of these cucumber plants using the crack key uh, method of hydroponics. And I've done uh, very well, actually, in part because I was using a set of clones. The clones were a little bit older, came from a mature mother plant, and then the mother plant had already been producing, so it didn't take long for the uh, cuttings to produce as well. And not only did they produce sooner, but they also produced a uh, fairly heavily on smaller vines. I've gotten close to a dozen or so cucumbers off of this. And typically you will get about a pound of cucumbers using about every four to six gallons of water. So for six gallons to have about a dozen cucumbers is an outstanding benchmark to say the least. So if if you are looking at uh, doing anything with the Cracky Passive method, I would suggest that you would consider using uh, clone cuttings, especially on fast maturing plants such as cucumbers that typically take about eight weeks to mature. And looking down into the container, the roots are very healthy looking from the uh, plant sites. I didn't use any grow media at all. These are just neoprene clone collars and two inch neck cups and I dropped those into the system. And then looking down into the bottom, you can see where the pump normally pumps up from the base and comes up and circulates around to those planting sites. And my guess is the, the uh, pump maybe didn't get cleaned out had some roots in it, and so I'm going to take it apart and see if I can get that back up and running as a circulating system. But you could tell that we have not even gotten down to 10% of solution remaining. There is still, oh, a solid uh, four inches of uh, nutrient in the bottom of this container. So I am super impressed with the outcome, the uh, results, the experiment. I may run over again using uh, clone cuttings. These uh, clone cuttings are a little haggard looking right now. And that is because from the mother plant, uh, this is the fourth sequential uh, cutting that I've taken. I've grown the mother plant, taken a cutting, let that mature, taken another cutting, let that mature, and taking another cutting. And so, you know, for these uh, plants, I would say that uh, I am uh, super pleased. And the variety is Isnik, uh, and it's a parthenocarpic cucumber plant. Basically means that, uh, in short, that I don't need to have bees flying around the office to pollinate the flowers, and it sets uh, pretty much all female flowers, and literally there are cucumbers about every few inches on the vines, and the vines uh, never did get extremely long. Uh, it's another benefit of the uh, clone cuttings from the uh, cucumbers. So the crack key method, not only is it a good method for uh, lettuce, it's a good method for fruiting crops, and I would like to uh, continue to share information on this passive hydroponic uh, method because it has a lot of merit. And I've used this method for several outdoor grows as well as indoor grows. What you see now is the initial setup, the uh, black magic uh, recirculating uh, gropel that you see at the bottom was the one that I planted the cucumbers in. They have two inch uh, neck cups. And as I mentioned, the pump failed. And so this was completely passive, 
no water circulation or aeration. Light is a Growstar bar light and it has a maximum output of 220 watts. However, it has a knob that I dialed back the power to around 100 watts. The uh, next picture shows the cucumbers that I uh, introduced into that container. They do have a little bit of length to them. Those were tip cuttings off vines from the mother plant that I rooted and uh, used no media, just a cloning collar, slipped into those two inch net pots and had the water level set uh, close to the bottom of each of those uh, three plants. The cucumbers seem to do uh, quite well. You could tell that the uh, growth and the flowering is looking good here. I do prune my vines to keep them from going all over and I do try to pick up vines and coil those around to keep most of those on top of the grow container and directly underneath uh, the light. And here is an example of the cucumber production. The cucumbers seem to come on and produce quite nicely. I had more cucumbers uh, than I could eat at one time. I would probably scale back to just one plant, but I ended up giving some away as well as uh, taking some home prior to the ones that I showed you earlier in this video. So with the experiment going completely unexpected, if I replicate this, I will probably want to weigh the output because it seemed like with the short mature clone cuttings, I was getting a little bit uh, better yield per gallon of nutrient than what you would typically we get when doing uh, crack key passive non-circulating hydroponics. If you'd like to try this experiment, I would encourage you to do so and uh, be sure to let me know your thoughts and comments and also uh, always appreciate it if you subscribe. It helps out with uh, my channel and being able to get uh, more videos out as well as more products to test. So thank you uh, for watching and happy gardening.